once you connect the monitor with your computer and make sure you select the correct port okay so here is the setting just press the small dot button over here and again there is a input source make sure you select your mini display port actually we are using mini display port uh, behind our monitor and the bigger one we are using in our graphic card okay if you have small port in your graphic card so you can use that in that big one okay all right everyone after selecting the correct port you just need to install the driver the display driver just select like the english language or you can select as per your country's language over here okay just press the english and here is the software tell display manager installation just install that over here actually i already installed that so i'm not going to uh, continue the step okay just you just install install it and then it will configure as per display over here just start your software and you can see there is <coughs> some options like manual mode or auto mode in the manual mode you can select the its brightness as per your requirement like when you are watching movie so you can select the movie movies color correct uh, settings like this it's i don't know is visible in my recording or not it's look like little bluish okay and here is our game options as well it's little yellow standard and there is much more all right i just like the multimedia and here is a one another exciting option is that you can split your screen as many as partitions like two or three over here like two monitor screen like this sorry you just select the two screens over here so you can see the two lines in this screen you just place this over here so it's going to fit in this window and if you want to place this here so it will automatically fit in this all right and i don't think so there is another options all right and one another major problem is when you are facing a problem like display is not viewing or you are not able to see anything so just uh, go to your nvidia display driver setting open the control panel make sure you select the change resolution just go to customize and create custom resolution over here all right in that you have to select the manual mode and just change the hazards by 0.001 okay so it's 59.999 okay just dash to this uh, if you if you are able to see this so that will be correct resolution for your monitor or as per your color corrections or if you have still any problems so please search on the web one major option i forgot to tell you like uh, the sound port if you want to configure your headphone in that so just go to the search panel and type sound here is your change sound card setting all right just select the dell u 2414h and make this set default or if you are using your normal speaker so just go back to your speaker and set as default all right so by this way you can configure your monitor's audio port all right 
and thanks for watching my video i hope it will be useful for you if you like or dislike so please comment me below in my video thanks for watching thank you